All right, friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Marshall Gamer. Today we are checking out a fantastic little game by the name of Dwarfs Hammers for Hire. Um, I, I don't have a, uh, a, a very clear idea of what the game is. All I saw was the trailer for it and it kind of intrigued me. So we're jumping into this uh, very blind. Um, also, um, from what I've seen, it is recommended that th you play the game using a controller, and that's what I'm doing. So, let's jump right in. Um, Dwarfs um, still does not have a release date, it just says to be announced or coming soon. Um, so we'll see about that. Um, if I have any more information, I will update that. Um, that being said, if you'd like to get the game for yourself, or um, at least play the demo, which is what we're doing here right now, um, links will be down in the description. Let's jump right in. All right, the old woods. Um, we have left the road behind and saw our journey up up the mountain, up the Iron Mountain begins. The Baron Scouts have found a way across the woods and the enemy is already sending its weakest mooks to try and scare us away. It won't hurt to get some practice before the real fighting begins. Let's stick to using all the wood we have around. Just some clubs for the villagers to practice. Alright. And here we are. So we're turning the... We're using the saw to turn logs into wood, and then the material goes into the crafting table to create clubs. Okay. Oh. And then this is the crafting table. Uh, oh. By the looks of it, up top, it looks like we need two planks to create one club. And then we send it off here. The battle bar shows the progress betwe between the Baron's army and the Shadow Mercenaries through each battle. With every successful delivery, your allies gain a bit more ground. You need to obtain at least one banner to win the battle. I see. Okay, and then, oh, um, okay. This um, reminds you kind of, uh, oh, I forgot to pick that up. Um, this kind of reminds me of uh, Overcooked in a way, um, the way it plays out. Yeah, the game itself seems to be uh, playing very smoothly, and the controls uh, um, with my controller are uh, are uh, pretty nice. I'm having no issues at all, but uh, I, I guess I, I could have went into the options menu just to check like what all I can do, but so far, um, it seems like I'm having no issue here. Okay. Um, we got through that one pretty easy. Um, so the uh, progress bar at the bottom um, is constantly being pushed back against you, but as long as you keep crafting, um, you push the uh, the bar into your advantage, and once you fill it up, then you're, you're good. You're, you win. Alright, let's go into the next one. Combining materials. Leather doesn't need any extra work. Just place it on the crafting table. Don't worry, materials can go in any order. Okay. Made a mistake. Pull the discard chain to uh, start over. Where's... The oh, okay. I see the... I think I see the discard chain. So what do I need to do? Um, leather. And then... Uh, 
do I have any other controls I can do? Oh, okay. Maybe I can toss a few things up there. Oh, I, I don't know why I bought that back down. Okay. Now we can do this and we can send it off. Aiming this is a little tricky. So we'll toss this in. Go back down and pick up a piece of leather. Make that and send it off. Looks like I can uh, do a little bit of jumping on the ladder itself. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. Um, also, this uh, th this game is very uh, multiplayer friendly. Um, it can go up to. Uh, um, as far as co-op goes, I think it goes up to four players, um, so it, it can be a little bit hectic, but also fun. Um, but, um, as you can see, I'm playing this by myself because I don't have any friends. This is even more complicated. Rampage strengthens your army and increases your rewards. This effect ramps up as you deliver items without missing any orders. If you miss an order, the rampage ends. Okay. There's like a divider here. Okay. Uh, I should have left the piece of leather to last. I need to get the wood working. So far, so good. Oh, that was fast. Awesome. We only needed to do four deliveries there. I'm liking this game a lot. It's pretty fun. I'll have to find some friends to play with. Alright, so we'll use the forge and the anvil to turn ingots into plates, and then you have to watch out. If you leave ingots in the forge for too long, they will eventually melt and become useless. Okay. Okay, so we got this. Now we stick it in here. Looks like we can do two at a time. Now I just stick this up here. Okay. And then we get two pieces of leather. important to have some kind of organization skills. Okay, I guess we'll do a helmet. 
just to get uh, some get some rampage going. Oh, I think that's done. Yep. Two pieces of leather. There's that. Uh-oh. You got it. Okay. One piece of leather. I think it's best to go left to le left to right. Oh, that was good. That was fast. Awesome. On to the next one. Alright, we'll do one more. Um, the Forest Siege, the scouts say a garrison of mooks is blocking the way forward, preparing for battle. Bah. We have all the tools we need to meet them head on. We'll equip the front line with shields and spears and give bows to the rest of them. Time to teach these halfwits what it means to face dwarven craftsmanship in battle. The flame of the forge will weaken over time. Use the bellow to regulate the temperature. If it gets too cold, working with metal will be much slower. If it gets too hot, ingots will smelt and melt fa at a faster rate. Oh, okay. So a new mechanic. Okay, cool. So what do we need to do? Um, let's just crank it up all the way. Oh, that is definitely way faster. I'm okay with that, though. Yep. Okay, what do we need? Piece of wood with this? No, uh, I need to do it over there. Piece of wood. I need to... Cut it up. Um, I have a piece of metal here, but I'll just drop it here for now. I need to take this, and I need to... Make a spear. It's getting a lot more hectic, especially when they put things all over the place. Okay. Do this, do this, get that. Now we need another piece of metal. Uh, no. Um, we need, uh, wood and leather. Another one? Okay. Um, we already have that, so let's make that. And then we'll... we'll... Get that. Come on. Go, 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 go. Awesome. Alright, guys. Well, that was uh, the... Uh demo for dwarfs hammers for hire hope you guys enjoyed and if you did um consider subscribing liking and leaving a comment if you don't know what to say just say one two three just so you can tell the algorithm hey that you enjoyed my video um aside from that uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you next time